So right here with me, I've got a question that is coming from Earth Geometry. The question reads, in the diagram below, M, L, and K are points on the surface of the Earth. Pi, so take pi to be 3.142 and the radius of the Earth to be 3437 newton per hours. Okay, so question Roman numeral 1. Determine the difference in longitudes between points M and K. So they want you to find the difference in what? In longitudes. Difference in longitudes between point M and point K. So this point M is lying on this longitude and point K is lying on this longitude. So to find the difference, okay, for Roman number one, to find the difference in the longitude. So GL, difference in longitude, is equal to, now, the longitude for M is lying on west, okay? But the longitude for K is lying on east. So if you have difference um, in a different hemispheres, like you have west, east, you are supposed to add, okay? Even if you have maybe north, east, supposed to add. But if you have uh, same hemispheres like west, west, you are supposed to subtract um, east, east, okay? Supposed to subtract. This is what I mean. So right here, uh, 48 is on west. So we are going to say 48, okay? And then we say plus this uh, longitude, which is a 32, Okay, so you know why we are adding. So 8 plus 2, it's a 10. We write 0, we carry 1. 4 plus 3, it's 7 plus 1, 8. So 80 degrees. So the difference in longitude between point M and K is 80 degrees. Okay, this, excuse me, this is our answer for our first word question. Let us now answer the second question, okay? All right, guys, so we have answered this question. We now come to Roman numeral 2. Calculate in a newt mouse the distance between, so we start with A, M, and K. So you still want the distance between M and K along latitude 8 degrees north. So this M and K, they are sharing or they are lying on the same latitude. So they want, to find the, they want you to find the distance from M to K along this latitude, 8 degrees north. So to find the distance along the line of latitude, there are two formulas that you can use, okay? Um, this is Roman numeral 2, uh, question A. There are two formulas that you can use. So you can say distance is equal to, you can use this formula, theta over 360 degrees times 2 by R cos x. So this is the first formula that you can use. You can also use this formula. You say distance is equal to theta times skisti times cos x. So this is the second formula that you can use. Now, this theta, so the theta is just the difference, okay? The theta is the difference in e longitudes because we are finding for latitude. So the theta will be the difference in what? E? In e longitudes. So you can either use this first formula or you can use the second one. So I'll use the second one. I'll say distance is equal to. Now I've said theta is the difference in longitude. So M is lying on this uh, longitude, 48 degrees west. And the K is lying on this longitude, the 2 degrees east. And we did find uh, the difference in the longitude between M and K in our first question, which was what? 80 right here. So where there is this theta, I'll put 80 times. So for me, I'm using this second formula, times KST, okay? Then times cos. Now, this X is the latitude, okay? So point M and K, they are lying on this latitude, which is 8. So I'll just write 8. So from here, I'll say distance is equal to, okay? 
All right, so when you press on your calculator 80 times kista times cos 80, you are going to get a value like this, 833.8. Five one one two five two eight zero one two seven. Okay, so you say therefore distance is equal to now here the degree of accuracy is not specified in this question. So leave your answer correct to three significant figures. So I'm going to write eight three. So these three right here will make it three significant figures, but it's going to be rounded off by, uh, rounded off by five. So this would be a four. Then they said the newt co mouse, so newt co mouse. So this is our uh, distance right here. Okay. This is our distance in it, latitude. So you can either use the first formula or the second formula, this one or this one. You are still going to get the same what here answer so if you use uh, in case you use this first formula right here where there is this arrow i'm going to put the radius which is this one that you are given where there is this the, uh, pi you are going to use this pi that you are given then we know that this theta this theta right here is the difference in the longitudes okay so whether i use this first one or the second one the answer will be will be the same so we have answered question in a roman numeral 2 let us now move on to question e, B. All right, so we've now come to question e. We are still on Roman numeral 2, question B. Okay, so under question B, they want you to find the distance between K and L. So our K is right here. Our L is right here. So K and L along the longitude. So meaning this is the longitude from K to L. This is the longitude. So point K and L, they are sharing or they are lying on this longitude, which is the 2 degrees east. So distance along the line of longitude can be found by using this formula. Say so distance is equal to theta times skist. Or if you want, you can use this other formula. Say so distance is equal to theta over 360 degrees times 2 pi r. So if you use this formula right here, if you use this formula right here, where there is r, you are going to put the radius of the earth, which is 34, 37. Where there is this pi, you are going to put the pi you have been given, 3.142. Then this uh, theta is the difference in latitude because you are finding the distance along the line of longitude. Okay. So, what is the, the value of this theta? So you come up with data. We say uh, theta is the difference in latitude. So this point K is lying on this latitude, which is 80 degrees north. Then point L is lying on this latitude, which is 85 degrees south. So what did I say? Different hemispheres. North, okay? We have north, south. You are supposed to do what? add so we are going to add you we'll say 80 plus 85 okay 80 plus 85 so 0 plus 5 is 5 8 plus 8 16 so 80 plus 85 you get 105 so where there is this theta we are going to put 105 so distance is equal to 105 times the skist so distance is equal to this is just a matter of multiplying where you say uh, on your calculator 165 times skist and this will give you 9900 newt mouse so this will be your distance okay along the line of this longitude so if you want you can use this formula or you can use this one you are still going to get the same what answer. So thank you so much, everyone. We've come to the end of our lesson. Just make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you comment in the comment section, and I'll be, I'll be able to respond to you. Bye-bye.